In this video, we're going to talk about another philosophy behind Rails, that is of Agile, or the Agile Development philosophy. And you can look this up at their agilemanifesto.org website to get a little bit more insight what we're talking about here. But I'll explain it a little bit and its implication on Rails. Agile Development focuses on four things here. And the reason the things on the left side are in a bigger font than the things over the right side is to emphasize those are the more important things. So Agile development emphasizes individuals and in interactions over processes and tools so that the people involved in their interactions when it comes to development is more important than what your process is or what tools, IDE, programming language, any of those things are. It's about the people and how they interact, interact with the product that you're developing, and how they interact during that development. Emphasis on Agile development also emphasizes working software over comprehensive documentation. It's, it's much better to have a piece of software that's functioning, doing what you want it to do, than a big 500 page spec document and no software except for a rough, you know, overview of what you're going to be doing. It's, Having that piece of software running, working there gives you and your customer something to look at, collaborate over, move forward in the development process. Agile development also emphasizes customer collaboration over contract negotiation. What this means is that the customer is integral to the development process where they're sitting next to you as you're developing along. And there's one particular book that's out on Rails. It's Agile, Agile Web Development with Rails. And, and it has a little scenario in there of a customer customer sitting with a developer and they develop an application while they're sitting together and their interaction is quite powerful because the customer guides the developer into how they need that web application to function and contract negotiations just aren't important when it comes to that kind of thing you can't nail down all the little stuff if you don't know what it is to start with you're kind of guessing at it and finally agile development emphasizes responding to change or following a plan. And this kind of goes back to the collaboration aspect. If you're sitting with a customer and they say, hey, what about this? Or I need it to do this. You literally, with Rails especially, can right then and there add that, change that feature, whatever they're requesting, and respond to their needs. And that's, for a customer, that's a powerful thing and they want to do business like that. If you set down a plan and try to follow that plan irregardless of what the customer or the environment that you're working in demands as far as changes, you're headed down a dead end. So that's what Agile Web Development is, and I encourage you to read more about it and see how Rails figures into this and makes Agile Web Development a whole lot easier, especially if you consider the dry principle of don't repeat yourself, where you're doing it once and you're doing it well, you do a lot of testing, and your program, written in Ruby and Rails, will be pretty pretty successful. And think about how much fun you'll have doing it, too. So the next videos, we're going to start talking about Model View Controller and a little bit of Rails code to take a look at what those look like in Ruby on Rails.